Hey, welcome back to T4 Sunday. The first episode in our Rules of Engagement double bill is coming up soon, but first... Next up, a band have been described as hopped-up romantics ruling the British charts, a sizzling hot indie four-piece and bubblegum punk fuzz and frippery. If a biological preparation that improves the immunity to a disease could make music, it would sound like these guys. It's the vaccines, everybody. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. You're all right. Should we get a glass of water after that? No, it's OK. It's OK. What an introduction. Is that the best? Introduction. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. Thanks. Freestyled it. Freestyled the whole thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, Big incredible. Time. Mad skills. Now, guys, welcome to T4. Lovely to have you here. Um, listen, we can't help but notice the glaring elephant in the room, which is that there's only uh, two of you here. No Pete, no Arnie. Were they too scared to mm. face the Paxman-like interrogation of me and Will? I think we're just slightly more good looking in a T4 kind of way. Uh, in a T4 yeah. kind of way? So I don't know what that, what that could mean. Your new single, No Hope, is out today. Is there a glimmer of hope somewhere in the song? Because the title would suggest there isn't. I think maybe melodically there's hope. Right, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. It's a melodic song. Yeah, no, yeah. it's true. I think uh, I quite like... I always, I always love sort of juxtaposing sort of upbeat songs with maybe downbeat lyrics. I'm not sure anyone would be able to stomach it if if it was upbeat lyrically as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Too it sugary sweet. Too, exactly. Essentially, then, you may as well join, like, S Club 7 or, or something like that. Exactly, which awesome. I'm up yeah. for. Yeah. yeah. Really? What if the Reformation yeah. comes together? Yeah. And, yeah, and Bradley's not available. Think, yeah. yeah. Well, that would have to be it, because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if any more of you joined, it would just be a different band. <laughs> exactly. It would be S Club 8. Exactly. <laughs> should we take a quick look at your video? Yeah, I think we should. Let's yeah. do that. This is No Hope. It's out now. Excellent. Very nice. Now, Justin. That video sees what looks like a younger version of yourself, trying to woo an older woman with a love letter and some flowers, only to then be let down. Do you have more luck with the ladies than your younger doppelganger? Marginally. Marginally? Think, Are you yeah. still doing the flowers and love letter thing? Is that how you woo a lady? Or do you just go up and say, hey? Well, I think, I think he was quite naive, wasn't he? Because he, he thought the flowers and love letter would, would woo the 20-something yeah. um, year old. But alas. Could it also uh, be read as, as kind of your uh, personal love of older women? Or am I kind of maybe going down a slightly different angle? Because like... you look to me like a man who likes, who maybe likes the, a mature lady. I like all women. Hey, if yeah. you've got the necessary equipment, I'm interested, <laughs> you know? Well, exactly. What equipment? Uh, a, a digger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a hard hat. Yeah. Absolutely essential. Yeah. And some galoshes. Health yeah. and safety is extremely important to women, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> Out of interest, though, do, do you have a favourite older woman? I, I, I'm a kind of a Carol Vorderman, Nigella Lawson type. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Nigella. Who yeah. doesn't? Yeah. Not the Vorder babes? Not so into her? No, I like, I like didn't Carol. Didn't meet her? We, um, we, no, we didn't meet her, but we saw her from afar. I don't, that's not the same thing. Through binoculars. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, call me a geek. Geek! Sorry. So I spent most of this morning <laughs> studying the track list on your new album, and I found some pretty interesting titles on there. We're going to use those track titles to find out more about you in the most literal way imaginable. Mm. Let's do it. This is about what you dreamed of when you thought you were coming on T4. <laughs> yeah. Firstly, track eight, Bad Mood. What puts you in a bad mood? Traffic jam. Oh, yes. they're oh. rubbish. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Um, good. Good. Answer. I feel Freddie hasn't had the opportunity to say anything. Freddie, I'm fine. Are you all right? <laughs> yes. Is I'm that your role? You just turn up and sit yes. very quietly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you bring the sexy I face. Have to, I have to do the, you know, the. Uh, yeah. The you have hand. to pop yeah. from behind. Yeah. You're like, um, uh, yeah, like Sutty. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper it into Justin's ear, and then Justin can articulate what you want to say. <laughs> I've got a question for you, Freddie. Sure. Track five, Ghost Town. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't. You don't believe in ghosts? No. What's no. this town, then? What's this town all about? Full of them. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a literal one again, I've got. It's not a literal ghost town, but you can oh, see what, what's okay. happened there is you've taken it literally. I'm taking it literally. Just <laughs> taking the title literally. <laughs> <We're> taking, <laughs> OK. Yeah. Uh, let's try track four. Let's try track four. Let's go with four, because on. it's all in vain. <laughs> Who's the most vain member of the vaccines? It's not me. Yeah, oh, you're, getting, you're oh. getting secretly pointed at. Yeah. It's not me, it's Pete. Pete, good. The one that can't Freddy. defend himself. It's true. Guys, we're going to be talking more about your uh, second album at 1.30 today when you join us on T4 Listen. But for now, the vaccines, everybody! <laughs> Hello. Nice for us to be close, isn't it? Very Welcome close. Welcome to T4 Listen, your weekly roundup of everything worth talking about in the world of music. George, uh, Georgie chats to Katy Perry soon, but first up, we're joined by a band whose second album claims they've come of age, and we're about to put it to the test. It's the vaccines, everybody! <laughs> 
Nice. OK, Justin, Freddie, welcome to T4 Listen. Now, your second album's due out in September. Uh, it's called The Vaccines Come of Age. Freddie, you're 23? Correct. 23, good. good. Justin, homework. you're...? 25. 25? Yeah. OK, a little yeah. bit closer to me in age. Nice. Uh, do you think uh, that that is kind of the age when it happens, when it happens, when every young man comes of age? I think it happens at different times different for different people. people. Yes, oh, yeah. everyone's unique. I'm still aren't they? waiting. Yeah. I'm still yeah. waiting. Um, however, we are going to put uh, that theory to the test with a few simple questions just to see if you've reached that point in your own lives. Um, yeah. In ancient Roman times, the puberty ritual uh, for the young Roman male involved shaving his first beard, um, and he also assumed the toga of manhood. Okay. Um, in England, it's slightly different in that you only be truly become a man when you get your first toolbox. Uh, I'm going to show you some tools and I want to see if you guys know what they're for. I'll give you a proper <clears throat> name and usage, okay? Okay, yeah. Clamp? That's a clamp, yeah. Ah, mm. Be specific. It's a G, it's a G uh, clamp. It's a G clamp. It is a G yeah. clamp. It is a G yeah. clamp. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. It's to hold stuff together when you glue it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> What's this one? I know what that is. If you've just tuned in, you are watching T4. <laughs> <laughs> What's its technical name? It's a it's a wing nut spanner. Okay, I shouldn't know. I knew they I knew these are wing nuts. Yeah. But and I, then that's yeah. the also wing okay. nut. What happened to just like a hammer and I know. Well the yeah. things you everyone know. Yeah. Yeah. We know yeah, those ones. Too to, easy, yeah. too easy. Yeah, exactly. But, right, finally, the Aborigines in Australia famously go on walkabout uh, for six months. That's the kind of their coming of age. Essentially you just get lost in the wilderness. Um our equivalent it's a nice round of golf. Yes, so today we'll be putting your putting <laughs> to the test in a nice round of golf. Um, uh, we've got some uh, some golf clubs up here. We're going to support you. We've got a, a hass each. Uh, do, you, you can do, you have, a... do you have any left-handed golf clubs? Um, they are ambidextrous yeah, golf you clubs. Can just you can just twist the end. Whichever one you want. Think Fantastic. of us as your caddies. So, Freddie, okay. you're up first. Grab the yellow ball, if you don't mind, and, and, and place it sort of roughly over here. OK. <laughs> He's, go He's, He's going, going, going for it. Mate. That's a good, great squat you've gone for, right? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Oh, oh shot it. Slightly overshot it's it. It's into Good the effort. rough. Can I, or do I, can I, I have to go down here? Yeah. Well, yeah. you've got quite a view here. Right. Remember, focus. Not too hard. That's good. That's good technique. Yeah. Oh! oh! That was so close. So close. Oh. Uh, can okay. we have a uh, mysterious and official adjudicator? Who do we think is the winner there? Justin, Justin is the, the winner. winner. Justin's Justin is the winner. Well done, Justin. Very, very You're a real man. Give a round of applause. Also, Freddie, well done. Nearly a real man.